know I wait all week to see you guys, right? Scorpio, this is your moment. This is your time. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. General predictions over on the YouTube side. We're using the oracle deck. We'll get the vibe. We'll get the feel of what you can expect, what challenges you may come and face this, this week. Uh, October 11th through the 18th, 19th, you've got a full moon in Aries to contend with. If you haven't seen that video, the link is right above my head. I like how I did that. <laughs> uh, listen, Scorpios, I'm not, I'm not a smooth girl. So, <laughs> um, and then on the other side, if you look in the description box, you can find that Vimeo link and we do the full tarot spread and the romance reading. So if you are on platforms, that allow commercials, then expect one in a couple of seconds. Know that in watching it and letting it run, you are donating to the channel and I appreciate it. My gratitude is complete and full and I hope you know how much it means to me. So prepare for that in about three seconds, two seconds, one second. I'll be right back. Now, for those of you who just sat through an awkward pause, thank you. And for those of you who just sat through a commercial, Thank you, thank you for donating to the channel. Um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do make sure you've subscribed by clicking that red box below and ring that bell twice so that you know when I go live and when all my content gets uploaded. People have been letting me know that there have been issues. And so I'm trying to make those issues go away. <sighs> Scorpio, I, I just have a really, there's a peaceful feeling. And there's a reason why I needed to do your video right after yoga class, after I was able to spend time in the sauna, relaxing myself, loving myself, putting myself first. There is a reason, and that reason is because this is what you deserve this week. It is 100% what you deserve this week. You deserve you this week. You, beautiful and passionate, and strong and intense and obsessively focused on the things that you love. Let that thing that you love most this week be who you are. Damn! I'm telling you right now, you can't make this up, but my cards and I, we work together. We are so in sync. This is the first card that comes out. And no, I don't think you're dealing with a Leo, though you might be. I think that you're dealing with yourself. Remember, Leo is the sign on the zodiac that teaches us how to love and respect and honor ourselves, how to feel good about who we are in the face of anything and anyone and any challenge and anything that goes wrong and any time we've made a mistake or any time we've been criticized or dumped or left or walked away from or not chosen. Leo's confidence and love of themselves never wavers. So this is that energy that I was channeling for you in the beginning of the video. That's the energy that is empowering you, infusing you, electrifying you this week. And I know that it's coming from that full moon. Now the moon is a very um, complimentary uh, illuminary to you. It is. it is, it is like your sun because it is the light in the dark and isn't that what you are? In a dark, dark place in the middle of the night, you are Scorpios are who brings light. And, and that is the moon. Even though you are not ruled by the moon, it is a sister sign. Uh, it is the ruler of a sister sign, Cancer. It is the ruler of the waters on this planet. And you are certainly a water sign. And so to have that amount of energy really pulsing through the moon for the next three days especially, it is going to infuse you with the ability to really give yourself over to yourself and love yourself unconditionally and completely. You wanna know why? Because that's what you fucking deserve. Oh, I was supposed to watch my mouth. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Google always catches me. I mean, there's no way it's not going to. So as we take that beautiful, hopeful, and understand it's this isn't about arrogance and this is not about conceit. It's got nothing to do, it's about actually loving who you are. Actually loving who you are, even if you're cold and homeless with holes in your shoes, 
loving those little toes that stick through, even if your uh, nails have dirt on under them, you know, even if there is parts of you that are crooked or broken or bent, that's beautiful. Finding all of those scars and saying, that makes me more gorgeous. It makes me more perfect because perfection is really uniqueness, isn't it? You know, the more you, unique you are, you can't compare yourself to anybody else. And then therefore perfection becomes something that you yourself define and nobody else. And so that's what it is. It's the def definition of self-perfection this week of looking into the mirror and just loving everything about that person that looks back at you. More messages for Scorpio. So the lion spirit is that energy that's crowning the reading today. Definitely the biggest message that wants to come through. But don't worry, your reading is far from over. Messages for Scorpio, October 11th through the 18th, 19th of 2019. As we go closer and closer to Scorpio season. And Scorpio is filled with power from the energy of the Aries moon. More messages for Scorpio, please. Falls right, falling right out. Oh my God. How perfect is this? Falling right out on top of the crowning energy is time to let go. Mm. Scorpio, what is impeding you from loving yourself? What is it that makes you think that you are not complete? Who, what is it that makes you feel like because you lost it or because it's not there anymore or because things didn't work out perfectly that it's that you, somehow you weren't enough? What, what is that? What is it? What? Really think about it. Give yourself a second. And I know that you won't need a second. You'll know right away what it is. And what it is needs to be released, released. And that is what a full moon is for. Scorpio, this is what you will put onto a paper. This is what you will write down in black ink. This is what you will burn under the full moon. And those are the ashes that you will cast into the light of the full moon and watch it blow away and leave you forever. That's the energy that you're going to expel or exorcise this weekend. That's what it is because it's those experiences that have been absorbed by who you are. And as a water sign, you cannot help it. Water absorbs. And that's why people are always so critical of us. Oh, you never let go. You never let go. I mean, how easy is it to get the, was, how easy was it to clean up the Exxon oil spill? How easy is it to clean up the pollutants in water? Easy shouldn't even be a word because water is the universal dissolvent on our planet, planet earth. So water does, just doesn't just hold something. It literally takes it into itself and breaks it down and it becomes a part of what it is. So that is why it is not us not letting go. It's that things that affect us literally become a part of who we are and we literally have to become something completely new as in let the fire from this moon burn you off and when water becomes steam nothing evaporates except the water itself because in the air there is only water vapor there's not pollutants there's not oil there's not all those other chemicals that dissolve it and that's why salt is left behind. Like you can take salt water and by burning it and steaming it and catching the steam, you could get fresh water. It's a long process, but that's how salt water is turned into water that people can drink. There's huge refineries that actually do that, especially like in the Caribbean and things like that, where water sources can be scarce. I'm not kidding. This is what you are able to do. And by the light of the moon, by this light of the moon, you can literally burn off all of those pollutants, cast them away into dust and let that water, that pure water arise into the air, steam and come down, come down upon you, wash away, be caught again, but be purified and cleansed. This is going to be a very healing moon for you. Why? Because you're loving yourself. You're adoring yourself and you're knowing that you deserve 
this energy to literally be all about you and all about loving you and healing you. This is all about you chemically being restored, like right down to the molecules that are in your body. Powerful. Powerful is not the word for it. Dream the world into being. This is my little lizard dude. Lizard looks into the future. He is like the magician in the, um, in the tarot deck. He is the magician manifesting life. But do you see in behind, do you see the skull? Do you see the skull with this jagged teeth and the eyes and the dome of its head? The skull sitting behind. So this is death and rebirth. This is you. This is, yes, those skeletons are in your closet. Yes, if you hold on to them, you can't start fresh. There's no way to walk forward with a bunch of skeletons in your heart, in your soul, in your closets. This is the time to look in the future and let this go. It's your resurrection period. It starts by the light of this full moon. Purify. I cannot tell you. I just looked up and it caught 1111. High holy day. 1111 happens in your month. That is not a coincidence. This is about rebirth and new life and beauty and being listened to. Being listened to, Scorpio. So raise your voices, especially on 1111. Raise your voices to spirit. It is going to be, it is always a powerful day, especially for you, but it's a powerful day for everyone. So make sure that you do it. Um, also, this could say that by 1111, your resurrection will have been completed. So it begins now. It begins with this healing process and this love of the self. It begins today. And yes, I'm going to show you the cards because it's not accidental how they've come out. I'm going to show you the cards. I've got to let you see this. The skeleton is looking at the groundhog. The groundhog rules the underworld and all of those things that get buried deep down inside of us. The skeleton is looking back and the lizard is looking forward. So this is our little toe that we're putting right now into a new life, into a new place. Home. 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 Wombat spirit, be at home. In other words, be your own home. Be home in and of yourself. Embody your home. Are you at home in the underworld? Yes, you are. It does not mean it has to be a place that's filled with dead things. Remember, Hades in Greek mythology was not hell. It was the place where dead people go. But heroes went to the Elysian fields. That was heaven. So the underworld was also a place where there were jewels. We've talked about this before. Jewels and gold and rubies and diamonds. There is so much beauty and sensuality in the underworld that it doesn't have to be mucked up with dead, stinky, smelly things. That is not required. Those dead things are supposed to be welcomed back into the earth so that they, they nurture and grow new things. And that's what we're doing this week, Scorpio. We are literally biodegrading all of those things that are intoxicating our underworld and we're then incorporating it into things that can be used as nutrients to make new life. Mm. Mm. No one said this was going to be a simple reading, Scorpio, but why would it be? Why would it be? Learn from the past. This is all about the, our relation. This reading today it's all about our relationship with the past. It's all about how it affects us, how it's still affecting us, how we use it. And one, what, did, what did I say? Oh my God, I love spirits. And I'm so grateful for spirits presence that I can share this message with you. And I hope that you guys really take it to heart. Learning is a way of breaking down those things that were hard and difficult and made us struggle, just like lessons, just like school. It is learning is the way that we take those things and make them into nutrients. When you learn from the past, you literally are taking those boulders, those challenges, those obstacles that were thrown at you. And when you use them to learn, you are literally standing on top of them and helping and allowing them to make you climb and grow higher and reach higher. It is taking your challenges and using them as vehicles for escalation and um, ascension. 
That's what it is. So this is nutrients for your soul, for your mind, and for your life. It is allowing you to be that new seed that receives those nutrients that you've broken down from all of those things that you've let go and allowing them to now nurture your soul and allow you to grow and become something completely new. Hmm. I can't wait to see, I can't wait to turn these cards around so you can see what I'm saying. Okay. Final card for Scorpio energy. October 11th. Through the 18th, 19th of 2017. This is Scorpio. Scorpio message for Scorpio. These cards look like they're on fire. Except the central card, which is glowing with a beautiful green, which is a heart chakra. Somebody is recharging your life and recharging your flame. You're, and, and for the most part, the most empowering person who can do that is you. No, I'm not saying that you're going to be alone. But every, every, every reading that tells you that your love is coming in it is not necessarily correct right so this is not about that this is not about messages that are just all about one thing this is about a deeper healing and ability to make your life better in every aspect messages for scorpio october 11th through the 18th 19th of 2017 i was looking for one more card and they gave me three. <laughs> All right. I'm down with it, man. I'm down with it. Believe in yourself. That one is self-explanatory. And look what he's doing. He's First of all, he's preparing for the winter. So what is he making sure of? He's making sure that he has everything that he needs. This little squirrel is getting his nut. So Scorpio, get your nut. And do not in any way, shape, or form feel guilty about other somebody else not getting there first. Get your nut. Do what you want with your nuts. Use them the way that you want. Store them. Put them away. Make sure that you have enough for when you don't have anything and then you won't be empty. It's like there's such a, a tendency in Scorpio to run on empty, to just give it all away. This is about save for a rainy day because you're worth it and you have to pay yourself first. That's, that's one of the first steps. After learning from the past, you learn, oh, yeah. Yeah, I gotta set my tank on. I gotta set my. I gotta set my tank on a quarter. I gotta mark my E at what's really a quarter of a tank, so that I always have something stored up for who I am and what I need, and I don't give it all away because I have to be worth it. I have to love me. I have to love me first. I have to give to me first. This is something that is essential for my being and it is something that I can know now and understand that I deserve now because I've learned from the past. Next, sometimes life stings. Now, you should know because you are the stinger in the zodiac that this is speaking in two different ways. One, yes, sometimes life hurts. The world especially can hurt you a great deal, Scorpio, because they don't ever seem to really understand you. But this is also a reminder, Scorpio, that if worse comes to worse and push comes to shove, sting the shit out of a motherfucker and move on. No guilt. Uh -uh. It's okay that it's going to be, it's okay. So in other words, it's okay that you're like that. It's okay. This is about accepting everything that you are. Your stinger is not even your defense. Your intuition is your defense. Your stinger is your weapon for when those defenses get, um, um, kind of broken through, right? Your stinger is that, that last resort of, oh, I'm really sorry. You think you won by getting this close to me. <laughs> like, like that's what the stinger is. And so it's a reminder that you have many layers of defense. And so when it comes to the world, you don't have to be guarded. It's not about being guarded. It's not about keeping people out. It's about keeping yourself first. 
That's what it is. It's about making sure that you are never empty, making sure that you are not burdened by all the crap that people throw at you or by all the past shit that's happened to you. It's by making sure that you are valued by who you are first and that you don't wait for somebody else to do it for you. So that there's really no need for the stinger, except in extreme emergency situations that you will find once you get into this new mentality of love yourself first, feed yourself first, honor yourself first, will happen less and less and less. Last but not least, upside down. This and that are true. My beautiful little dolphin, he has flipped, turned upside down. What does that mean to me? Scorpio, if you were stuck in the world of the in-between, if you were stuck in a mucky situation, in a situation that was foggy, hemming and hawing, confusion, it is not happening anymore. You are coming out of that. That's not what's going to happen anymore. It is literally, it's almost like, yeah, no, you're not going to be stuck in the in-between anymore. That time is ended. That time where you feel stuck, and powerless and pushed down, it's over with. That's done. It's, it's over with. Because if this card was upright, that's what it would tell me, that you're in an in-between time, a time where you have to just go with the flow. This is not a time to go with the flow. This is a time when you get to let go and new things start to happen. I'm gonna turn the camera around so that you can see the reading. And here's your reading. And what a beautiful reading it is, Scorpio. What a beautiful reading. Ooh, sorry, guys. What a beautiful reading it is. Look it. This, is, this was the first card out crowning your reading. And this is what I really wanted to show you. In fact, I'm going to try to zoom in. This card, that skull shape. That skull image looking into the past. See, that's death. That's what has to be let go of. That's the part of you that has died and gone away and needs to be resurrected. This is the underworld. This is the ruler. Groundhog rules the underworld, the ruler of dreams. And very well could be lots of dreams, especially around the Aries full moon, are going to be coming to you. You will be dreaming heavily, deeply. They will be complex, but it will be, it's almost you speaking to you to help you work through things that you need to let go of. See, Groundhog chews through the underground to make a home for itself. And it uses all those roots and things and able to enable itself to be at home. This is you essentially taking that part of you, those dead things, those things that are over and long gone, looking back, and that's what you're letting go. That's what you're letting go. You're letting go also of the mentality of looking back and holding on to things that no longer serve you. Instead, you're focused now on your heart chakra. The home. Home is where the heart is. So this is definitely where you love, how you're loved, who loves you, and how you love yourself. You, you, you. All fucking week long, Scorpio, you should be loving on you. If I could send you all to spas or, dude, your favorite place in the world, I would. I would because it's got to be about really what makes you feel whole and happy and beautiful this week. Be at home. Let your heart be beautiful to you in all ways. And this is how it's happening. You're learning from the past. You are abs you're learning from the past. That's what you're doing. You're taking all of those dead things and you're turning them into fertilizer. So that you can build your home and you can build your future and you can learn. So that now as we move on to your future, you don't let yourself get empty anymore. You learn how to plant your stock. You learn how to plant your seeds. You learn how to put your energy into cultivating your seeds first before anybody else. And then you learn to basically make sure that you hold something back for yourself. If you're getting a big check or a big rewards, big gain this week, it could, that's also what could be happening to you, Scorpio, is that you're getting like, you're, you're getting your nut. You're finding your nut this week, right? That's what it could be. You know, what this is saying is with all those things that come in, don't give it away. Always store something away for a rainy day and pay yourself and, and take care of yourself first. That's what Squirrel does. Through those dark times, through those times when things aren't growing, 
Squirrel has learned to have enough that it's taking care of itself first so that it doesn't have to worry and it doesn't have to stress and in, Squirrel doesn't feel empty anymore. This could also be a card of Virgo. So some of you, uh, Virgo could be um, offering you an opportunity or giving you an opportunity. This could be a love opportunity. It could be a job opportunity. But this is a very almost, in, so in other words, it's an intentional. Virgos are very intentional with how they plan things and with how they store things away and save their money. So it's about being intentional and mindfully keeping something for you. Keeping something for you always, especially your energy. Because listen, if worse comes to worse, there's your stinger. There's your stinger. And when life then feeds you a shitty situation where it seems all the world is trying to attack you, guess what? It doesn't matter because you have you. And you have your resources stored away. And, and you've learned to not be empty. So let them do what they do. You will, you will have what you need because you gave it to yourself. And then this is saying, now you're ready. You're not going to be in this wonky period of in between or, or yeah, of, of, of uh, confusion or craziness anymore. That is, that is stopping. That is, that is no more. You're coming out of that period. And why are you coming out of that period? Because you're ready to come out of that period. Because now you know what you need to know. To walk wherever you want to walk in the underworld, in the upper world, to be able to be transcendent and that highest form of yourself, which is, like I said, the bringer of the light. Scorpio. Who might this Virgo be? How? What might you be struggling with? And how exactly do you do that? Okay. We're going to go over to Vimeo if you want to follow. I'd be, I'd be very happy to see you there. I'm going to do a full tarot spread to get a detailed reading about the uh, particulars of this week. Specific challenges, different things that you can expect. If you want to join me over there, I'd be happy to see you, Scorpio. And we'll also be doing your romance reading over there as well. A beautiful, powerful reading. I'll see you over there.